going to give you an update of my solar. I had 400 watt Renogy system installed already with the MPPT charge controller and four uh, Group 24 all purpose batteries. Not the best setup, but a good start. I added 200 watts more with room for one more panel. Half the Half of it's laid out already. The other half is ready for the mounts. Let's go below and have a look. The new charge controller I'm using, it's new to me. My brother gave it to me. Go power. It'll have room for the extra 100 watts. It's charging new Windy Nation 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, two of them. Uh, goes along with the current uh, tracker, tracer, whatever, and uh, to charge the batteries. I installed uh, a new inver converter. It's uh, it's a 55 amp and. I got it protected with a protecting the batteries with a 50 amp or 60 amp fuse. It's 55 amp, so uh, it it draws 950 watts right now. I'm just if I need to use it, I have the plug run over to here to charge. But so far, the solar's been keeping up very well. Even though my solar or or my power inverter is only showing zero amp draw. I know that's not true. I've been running the refrigerator all day on solar. We'll go around to the other side. And so I've got the grounded uh, wire going to the frame through a new hole there. Uh, looks like the only thing I have left to do is get a wire, some sort of grommet or something to protect it from the wood. But it's just the ground wire so it should be good. Got an amp clamp finally. Um, the way I got this set up is the ground from the batteries is going to the negative on the power inverter and of course the positive is coming through a 200 amp fuse up through an isolation and to the other side of the positive and it's uh, learn from me when you this was the first cable I made um, Left myself some extra room. Well, that'll reach the negatives. Uh, it didn't, but I mean it can. Next time I have it apart, I'll put a shorter cable on. This negative cable tying them together will not reach the positive terminal on either side. So, with that, let's go to the amp lamp. Switch to DC. Never had much luck zero in that. There we go. Okay, let's look what we got here. This bank of batteries, we're pulling 9.5 amps, 9.6. From this bank, pulling 6.4. See if that just changed because we switched around. Oops, did I push hold? I did. Okay, 11.4. Six, six point three. So right now we're a bit pulling a larger load off of here. No big deal. It's good to know. We made a battery box just to cover it and protect the batteries. I got them mounted with old air conditioner, window air conditioner. Holder in place. That battery, 
box. It's just a utility box I bought at Costco in a three pack. Works fantastic. Well, let's look at house power. House power. Not showing any draw right now. Well, 1.1 1 .1 amp draw on the house right now. It's overcast today with fires going on, so I'm not making a lot of power. I've been uh, seeing routinely 20 amps from the four, those four panels and 10 amps or better, 11 amps. I want to give a shout out to the channels I've been watching to learn about this. And I'll have links below to their channel and the videos in particular that help me out. So please check those out.